Welcome back YouTube to Fish Reads Morrowind Lore. So today I'm just going to um, be reading another book, thank you for that. Um, and this time it's going to be a little bit more, um, the other one's like more about kind of setting background and story. This is a bit more like gameplay, so it's The Special Flora of Tamriel by Hardin the Herbalist. So let's go. The poppy, in both black and white varieties, may be found growing wild in the mountains of Hammerfell. Their succulent pods are often the only nourishment for adventurers who find themselves in the wilderness without rations. It is said that the black and white poppies imbibed together have magical properties. When they are crushed and mixed with the milk of the agile-footed mountain goat, the resulting potion allows the user to glide safely above ground. Fire fern, a perennial herb, is native to the province of Morrowind. The flowers are inconspicuous and often hidden. The glossy evergreen foliage and blossoms are resistant to conditions of high heat and bright light. A petal from this plant placed under the adventurer's tongue will provide protection from the heat and fire of the lava pits and thermal streams around Dagoth Ur. Dragon's Tongue, a common name for a fern-like herb found in Black Marsh, is especially prolific around the area of Ulthurus Swamp. It is a beautiful wildflower, whose name comes from the fire-red fire fronds that protect its golden efflore efflorescence. As pretty as it is, however, it is a deadly poison to most living beings and needs to be avoided by adventurers, especially unprotected ones, as it is lethal to the touch. It is said, however, that Argonians can handle the plant and use the th sap that derived from its roots to enhance their endurance. Domica redwort is a herb grown by many residents of Valenwood for their beautiful and showy flowers. They attain a height of about three feet and sport feathery leaves. The flowers are usually bright red. In addition to their beauty, they are said to have the magical ability of enhancing the appearance of anyone who carries or wears one of the blooms. Ironwood nut is a hard-shelled fruit that comes from the ironwood trees growing deep in the forests of Skyrim. The woods of these trees is as hard as metal after which it is named. The very rare black variety of ironwood is said to produce a nut which is very succulent and believed to greaten the strength of the adventurer who is able to crack its shell and partake of it. The ginkgo leaves, which are found along the banks of rivers and lakes in Hammerfell, are most inconspicuous only their peculiar half-moon shape making them noticeable. Edible foliage is very sweet and quite tasty. Legend has it that when mixed properly with the pulp of aloe plant, the resulting concoction has the ability of increasing one's stamina for a short while. The somnalius fern can be found in the swamps of Black Marsh. The fronds of this plant are light, green and, and quite delicate. Picking a frond can be very difficult, as they usually crumble to the touch, but once retrieved it can be used to put an enemy to sleep for a short while by passing it under his nose. Arrowroot is a thick, rubbery tuber that can be found in the province of Valenwood. The plant is quite difficult to find, as its above-ground foliage is very meagre and scrawny, but the root itself can be most beneficial to the gatherer, as it has magical properties. The pace from grinding the root is quite wholesome and can improve the user's accuracy with a bow and arrow or other missile weapon. Nightshade is reputed to be a very poisonous herb. However, the variety found in many parts of elsewhere is cherished by Khajiits, who have taken up careers in thievery. Many Khajiits will tuck a piece of nightshade inside their armour to increase their abilities to skulk, hide and become invisible. Thank you for uh, listening to this one, so a bit of an insight into the alchemy of Elder Scrolls, and I will see you for the next one. Thank you.